on the E here and yeah, we're all bored at home, no pun intended, and you just finished watching Tiger King and you're gone, I need something else to do. Well, I have got the answer for you. I have the best game streaming services you can play right now and I'm gonna give you a breakdown of some of them. Now, if you haven't watched my other videos about game streaming services, I've compared Stadia, xCloud, GeForce Now, and all that fun stuff. But I'm gonna give you a breakdown for what you need to right now since you're stuck at home. So look at this scenario, right? You watched everything you can on Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, doesn't matter. You're thinking, I wanna play some games, but I don't have an Xbox. I don't have a PlayStation. What can I jump to right now to play? Well, the very first thing is Google Stadia. Now, Stadia launched last November. It's a bit shaky, it's getting better. And this is a service that I think you might like. Now, it works with using a Google Chromecast or on any device, but for you to get Stadia Pro or Premium right now, you have to get it with the uh, with the Chromecast. So it's about 129. I know there's a sale for the, that drops it to about $99 or so. I'm not exactly sure how long that sale is. But with that, you can stream on your TV and play your games right there. You can stream directly on your uh, desktop, whether it's a, a browser, so using your Chrome browser, or on your smartphones or devices like the Oppo Find X2 Pro, where you can play and stream your games. Now they are increasing the game libraries, and as a premium member, you get a couple of free games a month, which you have to claim. Best thing is to go ahead and claim this. There are quite a few games, like of course, the Tomb Raiders, there is a Serious Sam, uh, there are uh, a couple of other new games that are available right now that you can go ahead and check and play. Now, the one thing you need to know is that in terms of internet speeds, I would advise that you need a 75 up and 75 download speeds for you to game effectively to get at least a solid 1080p connection. It does promise 4K60, I've never experienced it, but it is a good solution for somebody who doesn't have a single gaming system, but has access either to an Android phone, um, your laptop, and of course a TV uh, using the Chromecast uh, bundle that comes with the premium edition. Next stop is GeForce Now, this is from Nvidia. Now the GeForce Now service is a little different. It allows you to take your games that you've bought on PC services and play on any device. So this will is supported on Windows devices, aka Windows PCs and laptops, uh, Mac OS, so you can do it on your Mac device, which I actually uh, showcased years ago, uh, and it works quite effectively there as well. Nvidia Shield Box, if you have one, and of course your Android smartphone. What's really cool about uh, GeForce Now is the service has two options. You've got a free version, and if you've got a paid version for $4.99. The free version allows you to play online for an hour, and then you have to jump back into a queue to go online. While the paid version allows you to play for six hours, and then you can ju immediately jump back in afterwards. So you've got enough time to, to do all the gaming you need. And what's cool about this is that you don't have to get the games from a store. Uh, GeForce Now doesn't have a game store. What you can do is you can buy games on Steam, for instance, you can buy games uh, on uh, EA's Origin. Right now, Activision Store with Blizzard is out, but you can bring those games and basically log in and uh, install the games on GeForce Now server and you're good to go. Now, the session process is really quick. It doesn't take uh, like, you know, 30 minutes or something. It's like a couple of seconds and then boom, you're good to go and you'll start playing. Uh, the limitation here with GeForce Now is that you don't know what games are supported yet. And uh, a few other companies have taken their games out. Like I mentioned, Activision with its, of course, famous Call of Duty franchise is no longer available there, uh, but hopefully that's resolved. But it's a nice, easy way, especially again, if you don't have um, a, a game console or a gaming PC, then you can just easily go to like a Steam store, buy a couple of games there, and then play it on GeForce Now. Hopefully they give us uh, a list of the, the games that are supported, but it is a nice option that works with a lot of platforms altogether. Now my third and final service is Project X Cloud, a beta service from Microsoft, allows you to play Microsoft games on your smartphone. So currently it's available for uh, Android smartphones and there is a limited service for iOS. Now, as I mentioned, it's beta, so you might not be able to get in, but if you do have access to it, uh, what it gives you is the ability to stream over 100 games onto your smartphone. Plus, if you do have an Xbox, you can actually stream directly from your Xbox in. So if you're, say, for instance, you're stalking your girlfriend's place in quarantine and you can't you know, access your Xbox, you can actually do it directly from there. 
Uh, xCloud is only available for um, smartphones. Uh, there is no options for TV or, or um, uh, a browser or desktop version as of yet, but it does have a lot of games to boot. Like I mentioned, 100 games in total, plus whatever games you have on your home console if you're streaming from your console directly. Now, for a lot of people who already have maybe a mixture of uh, gaming PC or PC that's capable, a few things like that, there are a lot of games you can play. I mean, Fortnite is a free game that's available, even though I'm not a big fan of Fortnite. There's also PUBG as well. And the new addition is Call of Duty Warzone, which I've been playing quite a bit with my buddy Super Saf. Uh, allows you, it's a, it's a free game. You can download it from uh, Blizzard Store. And you know, I'll leave all the links, everything down there for you guys. Uh, nice free game to play. Now, in terms of all the other consoles out there, if you do have those, uh, I'll start off with the Nintendo Switch. If you're a big Nintendo Switch fan um, and you have a Switch, definitely pick up Animal Crossing. Everyone's playing it. It allows you to jump into a different world and play. And uh, also it's just, it's, it's a fun game. Uh, then if you have, if you're a PlayStation owner, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is available now for $19.99 and something you can definitely pick up. I think it would be fun to actually uh, play. And uh, if you're an Xbox user, uh, the best thing of course is to get Xbox Game Pass. It's a monthly service, but that gives you over 200 games full access you can play, you can enjoy, and you can download as many games as you want. So there you have it guys, those are the best streaming services and games for quarantine period. I'm gonna continue drinking my ginger beer and uh, hopefully you guys are staying safe at home and uh, always enjoying your entertainment.